So how profitable is it to do seed propagation as a business? So for example, when you get a packet of uh, 250 grams, the cost will not be more than 10,000. So that one will give you almost, let's say 30,000 seedlings. Eh? So from there, when you sell those seedlings, maybe sell maybe at around five shillings. When you calculate the cost, you may find out they'll be around, let's say 20,000. Eh? For 20,000, and maybe you sell at five shillings for the 30,000, uh, that is 150,000. I would say the profit is 100%. Uh, hello people, uh, my name is Joseph Mainge. Our company is called uh, Famiken. Famiken uh, does seedlings uh, propagation of uh, vegetables. And uh, we use the concept of hydroponics to do the same. So the, by that I mean we, we use uh, soil as media and uh, trays uh, in a greener structure. Tell us about your business structure. So on our business structure, uh, we, no we normally have two ways that we, we do the business. We may ask the farmer to bring their own seeds and we do the service of propagation for them. We, can, uh, we also buy the seeds ourselves from major agrovets and uh, seed companies and uh, we propagate them ourselves, then we sell now the seedlings. If I buy a packet of maybe green capsicum, propagate them, they'll take me around six to eight weeks in the nursery. How many seeds do you get in that packet? Now it depends with now with the number of grams. Okay, um... I can say maybe per gram. Uh, per gram is normally around 150 to 200 seeds Six. per gram. So, after six weeks, uh, to eight weeks, they'll be almost ready for transplanting. So from there, uh, maybe for the green variety, I will sell at a, at a maximum price of five shillings per seedling, per seedling. and the minimum price of uh, 3.5, now depending on the quantity that the farmer is, uh, is buying. And how many, how many seedlings will you get with that packet? What is the smallest packet you can get? How many grams? Uh, the smallest, I think it's uh, five grams. Five grams. Yeah, but for me, I, I normally buy 100 grams and above. Yeah. You know, when you buy uh, a larger quantity of, uh, in terms of grams of uh, maybe the cups come. You get more seeds. You get, um, you get more seeds and, you, and the price, of course, will be a bit uh, lower. Oh, okay. As of scale. Yeah, yeah. So how profitable is it to propagate seeds? To do seed propagation as a business, how profitable is it? Uh, well, uh, this and like other, other many businesses, uh, I would say the profit is 100%. Okay. There is no loss in this business. Okay. Unless uh, you're, you're in, you're, you fail to sell, or maybe you get uh, diseases, or maybe or like a pest infestation, uh, or a pest infestation in the in the in the greenhouse. Okay. Uh, now, for example, now uh, every 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 variety of uh, vegetables you normally have uh, um, seed counts when it comes to seeds. For example, for the capsicum. Uh, maybe for the green capsicum, we can say they are around uh, 150 to 200 uh, seeds per, per gram. So for example, uh, when, you say, when you get a packet of uh, 250 grams, uh, the cost will not be more than, will not be more than 10,000. It will be 10,000 or less. So that one will give you almost, um, let's say 30,000. Uh, seedlings, eh? seedlings at the end of six to eight uh, weeks okay yeah so from there uh, when you when you sell those um, uh, seedlings maybe sell maybe at around five shillings to a minimum of three point three point five shillings yeah okay so when you calculate the cost made the media and the the the, the cost of the the seeds and the labor for like uh, the uh, planting, you may find out they'll be around, let's say 20,000. Eh? Uh, for 20,000, and maybe you sell at five shillings for the 30,000, uh, that is 150,000. Uh, 150, yeah. That is uh, the, 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 
the total sales. If you minus the expenses of maybe 20,000 and maybe miscellaneous of maybe 10,000, maybe something like that, you find out that your profit is around, around 120. So do that, that is just like a single bench in the greenhouse that I am. In our greenhouse, so, so let me get in our greenhouse is just one bench. Let's, that's one bench. So let me yeah. get this straight. So you're going to buy, for example, you're going to buy seedlings for around uh, 250 grams? Yeah, 250 grams for the seeds now. For the seeds? How, yeah. much, how much are you going to pay that for? Uh, not more than 10,000. Not more than 10,000. Yeah. And then out of that, out of a packet of 250 grams, you're going to get around 30,000 approximately. Approximately 30,000. 30, yeah, yeah. So even seedlings, if, yeah. Se uh, seed, okay. Oh, seeds, yeah. Seeds. So even if you get like a kitukama, like a ninety percent germination rate, yeah, you still have around like twenty five thousand. Yeah. Seedlings. Yes, yes. It's selling at around between three point five. Three point five to five shillings. So that means you end up with around uh, one twenty k. Yes. So you see, the profit is almost. One to minus the expenses and everything, yeah. you can still be left with a very good. Yes. Very good amount, yeah. Yes. So the business I can say is profitable. So what do you have in this section? Uh, so for example here we have some tomato seedlings. These are, uh, are uh, now four weeks. They are almost ready. We normally give them around five weeks. So the last week is normally for hardening. So this is an Ansol, Ansol uh, tomato variety. Now for the tomato, for the tomatoes are, are normally quite expensive. So for, for this kind of uh, uh, seedlings, what, what, what we do, we normally advise the farmer to buy the seeds themselves, then we now uh, charge for the propagation fee. Alright, here we have uh, spinach seedlings, they are, they are around, uh, around two weeks old. Yeah, they are just uh, uh, starting to grow. These ones are on order or these ones you just propagate and then you're going to get the customers later on? For for these ones, uh, because they are just a uh, few, they are on order. Uh, but uh, mostly for varieties like tomato, the, like uh, spinach, uh, kales, uh, capsicum. Sometimes you normally grow them, and then uh, sell later to 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 farmers. Okay. Yeah, the best way to start um, a seedlings propagation uh, unit. Uh, you, you first of all need to have uh, a greenhouse structure. Oh, that is very important. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's very important to have a greenhouse structure. So uh, when you have a greenhouse structure, you are able to like um, control temperatures that you want your seedlings to grow in. And uh, when you have that structure, uh, you'll be able to control uh, pest infestation, diseases, uh, because as, as you can see right here, we have beds and these beds are normally raised to, a, to this kind of a level. So for, from this level of um, the, the beds, you'll find that the, it is very hard for, 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 for an insect eh, to, to, reach the yeah, to reach the seedlings and also the, the diseases, okay? And also, uh, on the side, as you can see, there is a net. So this net uh, enables uh, the place to, to have a good air circulation. So first of all, you need a greenhouse structure. Again, okay, for the, for the, for the structure, maybe if you are just starting out, you can just do a, a wooden structure uh, it, it's a, it's a, uh, affordable as compared to the metallic one. But uh, if you want uh, a long lasting um, structure, it's good to do a metallic one. Metallic one is... It's going to last you much yeah, longer. Yeah, it's going to last you much longer. Okay. The only thing that you just need to, to, to do is just to change the, the, the paper and the, and the net maybe after some years. So you can start with a structure of a or a wooden one. Then have uh, uh, this kind of a tray, uh, planting trays. This is how they look like. So this is just made of plastic material, having some holes inside. 
And now you need now the soil as plant and media. Yeah. And of course, uh, a source of water. And uh, yes, I think that's what you need for to start. Yeah. And then from there is just marketing, getting people to know that you have the seedlings and they're available for sale. Yeah, so from there, uh, market what you have, uh, try to reach as many farmers as you can. Uh, be unique in, your, in, in what you are selling and, um, and be aggressive in the market.